Several Northwest Florida activist groups are now speaking out against Governor DeSantis' anti-mob legislation. The bill would dramatically crack down on people who attend protests that turn violent. Channel 3's Rebecca Castor found out why some protesters believe this legislation will have a negative impact if passed. Governor DeSantis' bill against violent protests is gaining new support after the riots at the Capitol. However, local activist groups who protested peacefully here at Graffiti Bridge last summer believe this legislation will actually target groups like theirs instead of violent agitators. Governor DeSantis says rioting will not be tolerated in the Sunshine State. Under his proposed legislation, the punishment for those who participate in unruly protests, block roads and damage monuments will be increased to a third degree felony, meaning protesters could face up to five years in prison. DeSantis introduced this bill in September in the wake of nationwide protests following the death of George Floyd, some of which turned violent. And with the next legislative session coming up in March, DeSantis has used the riots in Washington to reignite support for his proposal. But local groups such as Black Voters Matter, Dream Defenders and the Party for Socialism and Liberation say this bill is written to suppress people of color fighting for social justice. While we know and understand that the D.C. attacks um, resulted in the deaths of six people, um, the murder of a police officer, um, we also know and understand that most of the rhetoric that's been spewed out in regards to the support of this bill has been directed at black and brown organizations across the state. Local activist Jamil Davis is the Northwest Florida organizer for the group Black Voters Matter. He says the bill is intended to intimidate the Black Lives Matter movement by cracking down on violent protests. However, Davis says the bill holds protest organizers liable, even if outside agitators turn a peaceful demonstration violent. Coming up at 6, we break down this proposed legislation and what it means for activists who organize protests. Reporting in Escambia County, I'm Rebecca Castor, Channel 3 News.